Recycling bins. They collect your waste and now your mobile phone data as well. This is a new technology which has been trialled in London, but if you don't live here, don't switch off because there are plans to expand it to various cities around the world. The company behind the technology, Presence Orb, calls it the real world cookie. And that's interesting because there are still some questions about whether or not this technology is even legal. Renew are the company who install and manage the bins. They currently have around 200 in London and 12 of them use the Presence Orb technology. The rest give updates on news, share prices, tube services and so on. Each one costs £30,000 to install and around half a million pounds in maintenance costs over the 21-year contract Renew has. And this is how they work. If you walk past one with your smartphone, with your Wi-Fi turned on, it logs your MAC address, which is a number unique to each device. From that, they can tell how close you are, how long you're in the location for, which brand of phone you have, and what speed you've been walking past and how often. That data can then be used by shops to send out incredibly specifically targeted adverts. Jack is walking past a digital billboard that is installed with Presence Orb. The billboard recognises Jack and is able to market to him on behalf of the car company that had the Presence Orb technology installed. This works just like an internet cookie, but in the real world. In tests running just under a couple of weeks, they collected more than 4 million device numbers and more than half a million unique hits. And that's just on 12 bins. Some people have likened it to a minority report style technology, although the company says that the data is all completely anonymous. They don't collect personal information on you, just on where your mobile device has been. Now you can opt out and it's very, very easy to do so. You just go to the Present Orb website's contact page and they even give you instructions on how to find your Mac number. Now I opted out this morning and it's not a difficult process, it only took me about a minute. But in order to do so, you have to know about the technology, you have to know who produces it, you have to know that it's an opt out system and you have to find the time to track down the website and opt out of it. At least with website cookies, there is an EU law meaning that every user has to be notified. So if you need permission to store information based on website use, shouldn't you also need permission for these real world cookies? Renew says that it has no ability to gain any personal information using the system and will discuss any future developments with privacy groups like the Electronic Frontier Foundation. But just today, the City of London Corporation, which oversees the area where the trials have been taking place, has asked Renew to stop all of its data gathering with immediate effect, saying that the public needs to be better informed. And they've also reported it to the Information Commissioner's Office. So what do you think? Is there a problem with this sort of data collection? Do you think it should be an opt-in system or are you just happy to get targeted adverts? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And in the meantime, check out these videos to my side. They're to do with Edward Snowden and his leaks of NSA documents. Take it easy, we'll see you in a bit.